Hello, I'm Sienna Mayheath, reporting for the Express Times and LehighValleyLive.com. Today I'll be asking five questions to Christy, David, and Drew, the owners of Pop Mart and Beth. Christy, what makes the shopping experience at Pop Mart different than other stores? Um, I think the shopping experience at Pop Mart is unique because you have a salon and a gym and a lot of times we're helping people put the finishing touches on their look. They might want to wear something out of here for an event they have that evening or something they have to look forward to like a wedding or some sort of picnic or party. So we really have a lot of attention to detail. Everybody is also giving them advice on hair, jewelry. It's it's a very personal touch. Nothing more satisfying than seeing people in the clothes and the way it makes them feel in the clothes. That's where we get our satisfaction, is when someone puts something on and it gives them a jolt and mm -hmm. a spark and they're so excited and that makes you excited and that's what drives it. And how did you all come together to work on the store? Um, we all have retail background. Yeah, visual background, retail background. Um, we all met in retail, mm -hmm. and we all grew together um, wanting to do our own business. We've always worked with Christy back when she had her nail salon, and that was 20 years. So we've all been working together on something in some way for 20 years. And I worked at, with Christy before that at Hesse's for five years. So we've been together at least 25 years. Mm -hmm. And which summer trend have you noticed is your favorite and also your customer's favorite? I think trend-wise, my favorite trend is the, the loose chiffon. Because it fits so many people and it gives the opportunity to people who don't normally fit in fashion a chance to wear color and fashion. Because the tops are all cut so much volume that it really broadened the spectrum for shoppers, for women who can't normally fit in fashion, the looser chiffon shirts have been fitting them and they get to enjoy it as much as everybody else. How do you define and distribute some of these trends? Um, magazines, television. Christy seems to always know what's next as well. Christy's a trend She's setter. Like, She's reason, a trend follower. She has Not always known follower. what the next feel was going to be, which is Probably her main reason when we discussed this as an idea was her involvement with fire because she seems to know what's next. It's just inherent to say this is coming up as a trend. And now that we've been doing it for a really long time, um, we seem to have an app for, okay, this is what's going to happen now for fall, or we're noticing a lot of leopard, or noticing a lot of this or that. And um, world trend fashion shows as well. We're and you watch, watch Fashion like, Police, and we're right crazy. on target. <laughs> <laughs> we're always yeah. on target with Fashion, fashion Police. Fashion Police is always like validation for us. When you see that, and it's a gotta have it, make it stop. We usually have the gotta have it, and that's really kind of cool. Makes fashion and hair arts in their own right. Why is what you do art? It's temporary art. It's design. You still have to follow certain formats, but you're you're, you're designing a person's look. You're designing your self-esteem. In, in the art thing, it's design using line, using color, using shape, accenting, and uplifting through like certain lines. That There's certain, over yeah, a lot. yeah, yeah it's a lot. It's all, it's, all it's all line and color and and subtle nuances. And that's whether you're dressing somebody or doing your homework.